This is a little film about Port Elliot, this festival that we played for like 12 years. Uh, and this um, was the last performance. And uh, they finished. And uh, But it was a wonderful place to play. It was very magical, very strange, very fairylandy. Um, we turned up in about 2008 and uh, there was Evan Dando sitting by the side of our stage and Martin Power was boogieing away there and uh, and it rained and there was uh, mushroom burgers and uh, Jarvis Cocker was talking about his Sunday service and uh, there was Grayson Perry and Dominic West there chatting about stuff and um, authors, Tom Hodgkinson had a little stall and there was uh, lovely trimmed grass. It was a bit posh, but uh, there was a lot of interesting and unusual people there that I liked. Was like Edwin Collins did a, a turn and there was a fellow called uh, Geraint Hopkins, I think he was, a piano player with Procol Harum. And uh, Jeremy Healy was doing some DJing and you never knew what you were going to get. And uh, it was just dreamy and thoughtful and... There's poets on, you know, Luke Wright and Selena Godden. And and uh, we uh, we got into it. We, we embraced it. It was, uh, we just gave them what we were. And they liked it. And they kept bringing us back. Um, and it was, um, it was just lovely. It was, you know, and it wasn't in, in a kind of a pleasant way. It was, it had some really sort of interesting and thought-provoking moments there and some great lectures you know there was the woman who wrote the uh uh why i'm not going to talk uh about race to white people she was there last last year and uh uh you just didn't know what you're going to get and you've got some gr great lectures and uh we we were uh adopted uh but not like pets you know we uh we were just, uh, we were loved and uh, we did our bit and uh, and we had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful 12 years there and made a lot of friends. And uh, bless you all, Rick Worthy and Shelley and everybody else who put it together. Um, right, this is it. Enjoy.
having the time, even when you knew it already. Come on, don't work anymore. There was a frog in the woods, and a dog in the woods, and a phone box on every corner. But now, come on, don't work anymore. Sides of life, the 
I don't need heroin. I don't need heroin to complicate my life. Shut up. It's a new song, nobody else knows it, you know. Just because you bought the album. I don't need heroin. I don't need heroin. I don't need heroin to complicate my life. I'll stick to bitter. I'll stick to Bailey's. I don't need heroin to give me all that stride. I've seen the needles, the scabby needles, the bloody blisters and the weeping sores. I don't need heroin. I don't need heroin. Heroin is something I am born. I'm 64. Big bloody lay down. I've got three kids, an ice and a wife. I don't need heroin, I don't need heroin, I don't need heroin to complicate my life. No one ever offered me heroin, I didn't see to be that kind of guy. Guess I was lucky, lucky lucky, it was something that I never got to try. I haven't a clue what to do. Spoon and the tie. There's all this faffing, bloody faffing. It's something that I really don't need to try. I feel alright. I'm fairly happy. I feel quite happy. But things could always turn. But I won't do heroin. I won't do heroin. Heroin is something I shall spur. I don't do I know that whiskey. Can be risky. That's why I'll only have a little glass. But I won't do heroin. I won't do heroin. Heroin is something I shall pass. I don't need heroin. Join it. I don't need heroin. I don't need heroin to complicate my life. I'll stick to bitter. I'll stick to Bailey's. I'll stick to Merlot. I'll stick to Belgian chocolates, I'll stick to halloumi, but I won't let heroin go play Thank you. 
talkies. So he's going down to the library. They went down. They were trying to learn. They were trying to read. They were trying to sleep. In the library. When I saw this dipstick lying in the street today The very same dipstick that I saw yesterday I couldn't walk past it like I did yesterday But I realised it's the start of a car If I keep collecting, I'll soon have a Jaguar I realised it's the start of a car And it's up to me Ooh It's up to me Yeah, you can laugh if you like I don't care I'm going to have myself a lovely long Black, shiny, 20 foot long Lamborghini Black, all shiny black, matte black Black windows Black steering wheel I won't be able to go anywhere I'll sit in the drive and I'll just have me sound system on and I'll be listening to <laughs> myself <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be listening to Luke Wright, a poet as well and I'll listen to Radio 4 as well and I'll fucking turn it up loud I'll turn it up loud and I'll listen to the news and the weather <laughs> and freak all the neighbours out <laughs> DLS, electrical contractors, DLS do the job right, DLS electrical contractors, they fix my lights DLS, electrical contractors, DLS, do the job right. DLS, electrical contractors, they fix my lights. I was sitting in my flat in Stourbridge, waiting for the dawn to arrive. I was sitting, staring at a blank sheet of paper. I've been there since half past five. All of a sudden there came a knock on the door. I knew right there and then. I wouldn't have to sit in the dark anymore I could start creating again Because DLS Electrical contractors DLS Do the job right DLS Electrical contractors They fix my light